Let's bring in from House Ways and Means and House Oversight is Congressman Dr. Greg Murphy's back. Also, Media Research Center founder and president Brent Brozell. It's great to have you both on. Okay, first to you, Congressman. Hi. This federal grand jury probe into Hunter Biden, it's gaining momentum. They're hearing evidence about his foreign income, his drug use, his spending habits, $142,000 plug-in Fisker sports car, and more. So your take of what's going on with the grand jury. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting, Liz, because uh, our media uh, and, uh, and big tech have been silent, have been very, very quiet during this entire travesty of the, of the Hunter Biden laptop, if you will. And so now there is a reckoning day coming. You know, as Elise Stefanik said, the time is coming when we're going to find out all this material. And to be honest with you, if I was Hunter Biden or if I was President Biden, um, I'd be very, very scared about the truth that's going to come out because it is going to come out. The grand jury will find out things, the truth, the reality, which has been hidden by the mainstream media and actually suppressed by big tech. Uh, t the day is coming. A day of reckoning is coming. Brent, how has the media been doing covering this story? It could have affected the entire election. Oh, yeah, well, and we've documented it, Liz. Uh, if, if you look at the coverage of the Hunter Biden scandal, 9.4% in a national survey we took, 9.4% of Biden's voters said they would not have voted for Joe Biden had they known. Almost 50% of Biden's voters had never heard about this. Censorship, Liz. Here's, here's something, and con the congressman will enjoy this one. Uh, we all know that Trump was censored and that his campaign was censored on Twitter. But what people don't realize is that how many times was he censored before he was officially knocked off Twitter? 625 different times. How many times was Joe Biden censored by big media? Not once. Yeah. And this is the difference between how they treat Democrats and Republicans. That's an interesting yeah. story. You know, Congressman, <clears throat> so is this suppression here, is that reason enough to break up these big tech companies under anti-monopoly laws? Well, Liz, this is Orwellian. Just think about this. This was written on many, many years ago. Now that you have the government that is controlling things, now you have the media, and now you have big tech. So you really have the, uh, the triple threat as it is, because they're, they're literally the, becoming the enemy of the state if they are suppressing things that the people need to know. Yes, these, the big tech folks, as been mentioned before, uh, they better not be deleting their emails. They better not be deleting their information, because they're going to have to come before Congress and explain a few things. Yeah. And if they are complicit with, uh, with lying, with hiding the truth, then, yeah, they need to be taken down. You know, the watchdog group, uh, to the congressman's point, Brent, uh, Pointer, the Pointer group, they report that they're censoring, that these uh, big tech is censoring on their own without waiting for fact checkers or news outlets to report into them. And, tw you know, by the way, Twitter has been silent now on just how they censor the New York Post story. They're silent on whether the Biden campaign reached out to them and talked to them about blocking the story. The Biden campaign, Brent, you know this, was bullying journalists who are saying you, you're committing journalistic malpractice if you step in and cover stuff that we don't want you to cover. And, and, the, and Twitter and Facebook, they've been silent. The media's been silent about the New York Times saying it authenticated Hunter Biden's laptop emails. By the way, let's get to Congressman Darrell Issa. Brent, I'm sorry it took a lot of time there, but Republican Congressman okay. Darrell Issa, he's the guy s telling us that, yeah, he wants Twitter, Facebook, the you know, intelligence officials called on the carpet. Watch this. There's a second Russian collusion charge, which is the one done by Brennan and Clapper uh, by, in concert with Facebook and others in The New York Times that made the election a, an election about false information rather, rather than the, the real information, which was that Hunter Biden, flying on Air Force Two, had been doing business with some pretty unseemly people and making a fortune doing it and giving 10 percent to the big guy. Brent, what do you say? Look, we say it over and over again, and Liz, it needs to be said again and again. What would been, have been the media's reaction had Don Jr. Yeah. been on Air Force One traveling with his dad, cutting deals with the Chinese government when he left the country? What yeah. would be the media reaction if they found Eric Trump's laptop and on it he had a deal with 10 percent going to the quote-unquote big man? The media wouldn't sleep until they got to the bottom of this. This is a deliberate attempt to keep the truth from the American people. There's no easy way of saying that. But the media had covered Ivanka Trump going into China making deals, right? 
Well, they, but they, they, they'll cover anything, any allegation about Donald Trump. But what you've got is hard evidence about the Bidens. Hard. Got notice it. this. Never once has they, have the Bidens ever disputed this laptop. Okay, Congressman Greg Murphy, Brent Rozelle, great stuff there. Come back Thanks. soon.